Hi, and welcome to this first video on connecting AI with Novel Crafter. Uh, this video will focus on Open Router. Novel Crafter allows you to connect to various vendors in order to use the AI that you wish to. This gives you the most flexibility and allows you to control the cost of writing. Flat rate services like Poe, ChatGPT Plus, or Claude Pro can't be used with any other service. They're exclusive to their platform, and thus using them inside of Novel Crafter isn't possible. So in order to use Claude, GPT-4, etc., we recommend you go directly to OpenRouter or OpenAI, and that's what these videos are going to help you do. OpenRouter is an AI vendor providing easy access to a wide range of models within a single login and building system. Through OpenRouter, you can access GPT models, Claude, Mistral, and a plethora of open source models. You can sign up at OpenRouter.ai. So once you've set up your account, you can go to your account settings and here you can um, manage your credits, top them up, you know, the like kind of get everything set up. Everyone receives a small credit allowance upon creating an account. However, we recommend you topping up straight away to ensure you don't run out mid-generation. Look, there's nothing worse than interrupting your writing flow to have to pay the bills. OpenRouter has access to over 80 models, including some that are free. The company regularly change up the pricing for the models and so keep coming back to see how much each are and you know find the ones that work best for you. AI models aren't all designed for writing. You may find that some are more focused on coding and the like and so they won't give you great pros. We recommend you try out several models or ask the community in order to find out what works best for you. In the general purpose prompts we've suggested several models that are a good place to start and the parameters that work best for them, including Ouroboros, Mistral, Goliath, Bagel, and the, the more well-known ones like Claude, etc. So to connect to OpenRouter, you need to click on your profile image, go to Open Settings. Here you will see the AI credentials menu. You want to scroll down to OpenRouter and click Connect. Then select Continue to OpenRouter. You may need to log in or sign up at this point if you haven't already, and that's fine, you can do that. Then you want to make your connection to OpenRouter. If you wish to put in a credit limit, you can do so here or leave it blank. You don't need to put in a limit and often people get errors when they've put in a limit and then reach that and don't know why. So, you know, leave it blank is usually um, a safe bet. If you set a limit and then reach that limit, you won't be able to use the API key until you've increased the limit again. This is a common error message that our users get. So click authorize. And then you will be sent back to Novel Crafter. Click, click go back home. And now when you go onto open settings, you can see that here you have open router connected. Open router also has this nifty little thing where you can see the money spent with the key like the connection so you can kind of keep track of yourself if you use um, open router and connect it to multiple programs etc as connection settings are not set in the cloud currently you'll need to export your settings and reconnect them if you wish to use your ai across multiple devices for open router you simply need to connect it up again on your next browser in exactly the same way in addition to seeing the total spend on the AI connections page, you can also monitor your usage on the Open Router website by going to the activity page. Here you can see the models that you've used, the input and output tokens, and the overall cost. You can see here that depending on the type of model that you use, the token cost can be like fractions of a cent. In the settings, you can manage your credits and top up your account. On the Open Router website, you can also go into the documentation and see a list of the supported models, the cost of that model, the context window of it, and whether or not the model is moderated. So if we go down here, um, so you can see here you've got your free models, you have the different um, companies. Uh, so for example, so here's the moderation. So we can scroll down, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so you can see OpenAI, as soon as we get there, you've got all your moderated bits and bobs. Um, likewise, uh, you, oh, yeah, you can see that Claude has moderation as well. That's kind of like inbuilt moderation and there's also the external layers. They're two different types of moderation. So OpenRouter 
as other programs that use OpenAI or Anthropic are required to add a moderation layer to their filtered models. You may see error messages if you try and bypass these filters. Currently, um, currently as of March 24, there are beta versions of the Claude models, uh, including Claude 2, Claude 3 Sonnet and Claude 3 Opus. If you want to write not safe for work content, however, we recommend that you use one of the unfiltered models. There are literally hundreds out there and this will kind of help give you a bit more security so you're not worried about constantly breaking the moderation. Thank you for watching this video. In the next one, we will look at how to connect OpenAI with Novel Crafter.